Funke Margaret Eboyi, a consultant public health physician from the University of Lagos, Nigeria. Our paper is titled Perception and Utilization of Traditional Bath Attendants by Pregnant Women Attending PHC Clinics in a Rural LGA in Ogun State, Southwest Nigeria. As a way of introduction, it is common knowledge that in developing countries, most childbirths occur at home and these are not assisted by skilled providers, thereby increasing the risk of complications for both mother and child. The NDHS 2008 report buttressed this point by acknowledging that between 2003 and 2008, only 46% of rural women had access to antenatal care, and only 28% of births were assisted by skilled providers. Women who could not access these services were left with no other option than to use alternatives of which the TBA is one. Debates have continued to arise as to the usefulness or otherwise of TBAs. Proponents have argued that TBAs fill the gap of unmet need for basic maternity care, particularly for rural women, while opponents have opined that TBAs have done more harm than good to improve maternal and neonatal health. Many studies have reported this issue from the perspective of care providers, that is either the orthodox providers or the TBAs. Only very few studies have reported it from users' perspectives, and that is the pregnant women. It is in this light that our study sought the opinion of 250 pregnant women attending four selected PHC clinics in this rural LGA to explore their perception and utilization of TBA services. And our results showed that virtually all the women had heard about TBAs and the services they provide. They identified the functions of TBA as majorly providing antenatal care and taking normal deliveries. About two-thirds believe that TBAs have adequate knowledge and skills to care for them, although they acknowledge that complications could arise from such care. About two-thirds, again, of either had ever used TBA services, while slightly less than half of them were currently using them. Services obtained from TBAs were mainly routine antenatal care and normal delivery. Reasons for use were on account of cost, cultural acceptability, the belief that TBAs provide more compassionate care, and the fact that they were readily available in their communities. Seven out of ten of users were satisfied with services they obtained from them. Approximately out of eight out of ten of either past or current users opined that services, TBA services are effective and could be improved upon with some form of training. More than three quarters of them opposed the banning of TBA services. It is obvious from these results that our respondents demonstrated very positive perception and hence utilized TBA services. This echoes the need that for as long as pregnant women, particularly those in rural settings, are limited by access to orthodox maternity care, it is needful to strengthen the capacity of TBAs within permissible standards. And it is hoped that strengthening this capacity building approach will strengthen TBAs to provide basic maternity care that will translate into improved maternal and neonatal health outcomes and foster a healthy collaboration between orthodox care providers and traditional care providers. I thank you.